it's Tree Baron here, and today I'm going to be reviewing Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Now, I know a, re a review is a little bit pointless coming out this late to a lot of people, but I really wanted to talk about my thoughts on the movie. Uh, the reason I've waited so long is because I like to wait for movies, for most movies, to kind of solidify in my mind and get a good perspective on what was good about the movie, what, what really stands out, and what was bad about the movie, and what really stands out. And so waiting so long gives me that sort of perspective. So first I'm going to talk briefly um, on the things that I liked about Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Uh, first of all would be uh, the final scene with Darth Vader in it. Um, it's a scene where Darth Vader kind of goes on a, on a quick killing spree. And uh, time-wise, it's set directly before Star Wars Episode Four. So I really enjoyed that scene. Um, it's got some great cinematography. You get to see Darth Vader, uh, you know, battle clad, and he's got he's got his lightsaber, and he just it's a really it's it's short, but it's a very very cool scene, and it kind of shows the desperation of the rebellion. Um, second thing that I really liked about Rogue One is there's a little bit of a space battle scene. Um, there's At one point there's a battle on the ground and there's a battle in space and you get to see space battles in Star Wars like I feel that they haven't they haven't been done exactly the same way before and what I mean by that is the CGI is to the point where you can do more um, with the ships and like space debris and uh, and in the battle they had ships ramming each other and that sort of thing and i just thought that the space battle was done really well it was very cool to watch especially having large destroyers kind of go up against each other instead of just fighters so those would be the two main things i liked about star wars rogue one um other than that nothing really stands out in my mind um there are some other visuals that are sort of cool um, where they fire at the planet and uh, it makes this big explosion and there's a scene where they're in the rain and some ships kind of flying down a canyon uh, yeah so that's what I liked about the film and everything else is uh, it's more or less a negative uh, you'll notice that the the things I mentioned were largely visuals uh, a lot of them had to do with CGI and none of them directly involved our main characters, uh, which is the biggest flaw of Star Wars Rogue One. As for the story, it's sort of a generic... It's it's like a heist-style movie, um, you know, like where somebody would go to rob a bank or something like that. But they're trying to get a certain piece of information, in this case, the plans for the Death Star. And so it just happens to be this sort of heist movie set in space. Uh, the problem is that none of the characters are particularly interesting or stand out. The one character which I thought did a decent job of standing out um, is the robot character. Uh, I, I can't recall his name uh, like most of the characters. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But the robot character is basically a direct uh, ripoff of C-3PO. So he's sort of snarky like C-3PO and, you know, he has his one-liners. Only this one uh, does combat, which C-3PO didn't do. Um, the other characters. Um, so I, re I can remember the main character, whose name is Jen Erso, I believe. Um, her character is that her parents died. Um, there is a sort of rebel, rebel spy character. And that describes his entire character in the movie. Um, there's uh, an Asian man who is a Jedi without a lightsaber. Um, and not a very good one. And there is... Um, oh, yeah. There's a, there's a guy who uh, wears armor. And he's got like a jet pack thing backpack thingy with the, and he's got a big gun oh and there's a i'm just i'm looking at the poster right now trying to remember because i honestly 
I can't remember some of them because they just it's not it's not that it's been too long it's that they don't stand out at all you know and they and not a lot of them have pivotal roles in the movie either um, there's like a pilot guy who flies the ships and then there's like Jen's I guess sort of her father that adopted her and trained her to be a terrorist I think something like that um so yeah this movie has problems um first of all they have too many characters considering how much time they each get right you could you could cut out um you could have cut out one or two of these characters you only need to have three maybe four main characters at the most and for this movie it felt like that would be pushing it even um there is just not a lot to say about the rest of the movie um it it pretty much it's a step-by-step gather your team um do a little bit of planning for how you're gonna assault this and then kind of two-thirds of the way through the movie they're like oh we don't want to do this and they have this rallying speech um i think it's given by jen or so i think um and it kind of turns everybody around and they're gonna go uh you know uh, do the thing. Although, uh, what's funny about the speech is, uh, I don't know if it was just me, but I found it really uninspiring. Uh, if somebody would have given that speech, I would have not have gone at all. Like, I wouldn't have given it a second thought. It's like, oh, we're not going to do this then. Okay. Um, you know, the movie is, it's paint by numbers. And if anyone, honestly, if anyone says that it's like some great masterpiece or whatever, they're, they're looking at it through, through rose tinted glasses. I'm sorry, but if you think this is some great movie or it's one of the best Star Wars movies, you're looking at this wrong, okay? You're, you're biased against, or for Star Wars, okay? This is like, it's, it's not prequels bad necessarily right but like it's almost there okay the difference between this and a prequel movie is jar jar all right and maybe some more cringy dialogue like a forced love story if this had had a forced love story and jar jar in it this would be a prequels movie okay it would have great visuals but the characters are lacking and the story is you know it's lacking as well uh so this movie if it's it's really it's if you just want to sit down and watch a movie that's cool about star wars okay maybe but other than the star wars factor there is no reason to go back and watch this movie again especially for me okay i have nothing that i feel attaches me to this movie i didn't care about the characters the first time i watched the movie and i know if i go back and watch it a second time i'm gonna care way way less okay this is not a very good movie. Um, and honestly, I think that they put it too close to the other Star Wars movies. And to me, it kind of... It, 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 it changes my view of them a little bit. I really like that Star Wars left it vague about, you know, like, it's just like, oh, many spies died getting us this plans or something like that, right? So... It's just kind of vague of people died. These plants were hard to get done. I didn't think a movie had to be made about it. And the movie just has... It makes the Star Wars universe seem... I don't know. It makes it seem smaller, first of all. Um, just because they're trying to jam in, you know, fan service sort of oh, look, it's the characters from episode four, and they happen to be in a bar on this planet at the same time that these... And it, it ties everything together way, way too much, okay? Um, it just... It, it didn't... It, it's not interesting to me. It's a bland movie, and if you take the Star Wars out of it, or if you add in um, junk like Jar Jar into it, it either... It's it's super bland it's not rewatchable or it's terrible like prequels bad okay um so those are my thoughts on rogue one a star wars story um it's not gonna be on my watch list anytime soon if it was on on television i might watch it if i was really bored all right so 
have a great day guys um leave a comment for me or like or dislike if you disagree with my opinion and want to do that um but go ahead and leave a comment and i will respond to it all right have a nice day